Welcome back, MG Marine Tech here. I'm on a walk with a little woman, say hi. Hey. And a couple of my dogs. After a long absence of making some content for you guys, I'm finally back on the water. It doesn't look like it right now, but we are at the lake. So we will be doing some on the water dialing in of settings. And today's video is gonna be all about GT54 down imaging settings. Now I did some side imaging settings for this transducer a couple weeks back. It was a pretty big hit and I've been non-stop to ask about down imaging settings. Today we are gonna be covering all those. Now there are a few differences and important things just like the GT54 side imaging settings. The transducer needs to be installed properly. All that jazz I said in my last video. Uh, let's dive in, GT54 down imaging settings. I'm going to run this video like I did with my last one in that I am going to give you a list of the settings that I use right here but I'm also going to dive into these settings and show you what they do actually out on the water this time. Uh, so hopefully this will show you guys, teach you guys how to dial in your own images because these settings that I give you are not gonna work in every single situation. Even day to day, hour to hour, that these settings will change, especially in different depths of water or clarities of water. So this is just, again, a good starting point. There's no such thing as best settings because it's different day to day and different bodies of water. So a couple of things before we dive into the actual settings. One, I like to run a setup like this when I'm dialing in my down imaging, and that is traditional and uh, down imaging side by side. Now what this allows you to do is verify different things. It really helps you to actually learn both of these types of sonars, but it also help you uh, see if you need to make changes to this, because sometimes 2D will pick up stuff that your down imaging won't and vice versa. So that will sometimes clue you in on whether or not a change to your settings is needing to be made. Second thing with the GT54 and down imaging is you only have one option for down imaging frequency, which is 840 kilohertz. It's a very, very good frequency, uh, lots of detail. It will penetrate quite a bit of water, but it does have its limits. So let's dive into these settings. First things first to get to them, same way as always, you can either click here Hit your menu, go to your clear view menu, or click on your clear view screen, then hit menu and it brings up everything. Now the main ones we are going to be talking about today are contrast and brightness. Everything else is very, very similar to my GT54 side imaging settings, but let's run through them real quick here. You've got your contrast, brightness, range, and then everything else is under sonar setup on this screen or under advanced. Let's just start with advanced. So interference, I run that off or low. TVG, I run that low, medium, or high, depending on the depth of water I'm in. But 99% of the time, TVG will stay at low. And then bottom search limit, auto, surface noise, show. Under this screen, scroll speed, again, I keep that on auto. These units know how fast they're going and they can sync up with the proper scroll speed to give you a very detailed picture, so I keep that on auto. Now, as far as color scheme, again, I keep color scheme on amber. I really like this color, but you can pick any different color that you want. I don't like a lot of these other, other um, color schemes because they make everything pretty grainy. I feel that amber really kind of smooth things out and it's good with my eyes. Now the other th thing about different color schemes is when you choose them you might have to go back and change your brightness and contrast. As you can see in this one it kind of washes out the bottom, it's hard to see, where if I go back to my amber with my current settings I have a little bit more detail in there. Another reason why I pick amber, but keep in mind different color schemes can change your settings. Now for contrast and brightness. Now again, these two change greatly depending on the depth of water you're in. Now a good starting point is brightness right around 90 and contrast right around 60. And I run contrast anywhere from 60 to about 80 depending on the depth of water I'm in. And when I change it is when this bottom becomes too washed out. When you go shallow, your bottom will start to become washed out, so you'll have to lower it. So like today, right now in this circumstance, I'd probably run 75. Now brightness, I typically keep brightness right around 90, and if you're in deeper water, you can bring up brightness to help out a little bit, or down if, it, if you're in really, really shallow water. So again, what you're trying to accomplish is a detailed bottom, detailed uh, water column without blowing out the bottom. So if you have these things cranked up really high, you'll notice that you will lose detail in it. 
Now, we're in 24 foot of water with 840 kilohertz with brightness and contrast way up high. We're not losing all of our detail, but down on the bottom, we are losing detail. So that is why I say, you know, bring that down to 75. You start to pick up some more detail and our brightness back down to 90. And you can still see these items in the water column, which are most likely just weeds and whatnot today because the lake's pretty stirred up. But we are not on the water anymore. There are a couple of settings that I forgot to dive into in a little bit of detail, and that is range and TVG. Now I wanted to touch base on them again to kind of better explain what they do and where I run them at. The first is very, very simple, and that is range. Now I keep range 10 feet above whatever depth of water I'm in. So if I'm in 20 foot of water, I keep range set at 30. Now what this does is allows me to see a little bit extra of the bottom so uh, down imaging will show the mid all of the water column but I want to see just a little bit of the bottom that the down imaging will show you it gives you a little bit of extra detail shows you kind of what's going on now TVG stands for time variable gain I'm not going to go into all the details on that the general rule of thumb is the deeper the water that you are in the higher you can get away with running your TVG. Now there are some things to keep in mind with TVG. If you run a higher TVG, your screen will get darker. To counteract that, you will have to up your brightness and your contrast. Same thing going the opposite way. If you have a medium TVG and run to a low or off TVG, your screen will get brighter and you may have to lower your brightness and contrast. Now, those are the ones I forgot on the water. Play with them yourself you'll see what they do those are my settings for a gt54 in down imaging i hope they work for you guys please keep in mind they are just a baseline setting there's no such thing as perfect settings because these things change all the time depending on types of water depths of water if they don't work for you hopefully these tips and tricks in this video showed you how to dial them in for yourself on your own body of water and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up because i'm going to be doing the same types of videos not only for traditional 2d sonar on the gt54 but also all different types of sonars on the gt56 transducer thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tips and tricks on mg marine tech